So we are now on season six. If you guys don't know, we're watching the best episode, the highest rated episode on IMDb of every season in an attempt to learn business entirely through Shark Tank. <laughs> So far, we've learned a lot. Next into the tank is a product designed to help students with the high cost of college. High right, cost of I'm college. This is in 2015, so of course it worked and we all have cheap college now. Yes! Zoomers, thank this man. All of you in college right now and have the affordable, easy semesters that you're paying low cost for is because of this guy. Give him a huge thank you. Thank God he invented this. I'm seeking $40,000 for 15% of my company. College right, is expensive. Cheap valuation. The cost of college rises every year. True. And, but there's an alternative. Scholarships. Scholarships are extremely hard to find. So that's why I created Scholarly, a list of scholarships you qualify for literally in minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like them already. We love you already. Boy, you're really <laughs> sucking up to me. You're stingy, man. I can't wait to say. <laughs> Scholarly isn't just a business, it's my passion. I want to help students. That went well. <laughs> What's up, sharks? Let me pause right there and tell you about an even better product than the stuff you were seeing before. The Everyday Earbuds from Raycon, a longtime supporter of my content. Uh, listen, I use these earbuds every single day for two main things, working out and listening to podcasts in bed. That's why I use my earbuds. Other than that, I'm just gaming on my computer. And when I use it for those two things, I have an excellent experience. I want to tell you about it. Number one, they do not fall out of my head. Not while working out, not while rolling around in bed, not while moving around. They don't fall out of my head. They have uh, little gel tips on the ear. They fit snugly. It's the best experience with that I've had from any earbud. Number two, the battery life is really long. They say eight plus hours of active battery life. In my experience, when I use it, it's even more. I've been able to go three, four days without recharging. It's just easy. It's just an easy earbud for me to use. And also, because I lose earbuds a lot, I feel better using them because they're half the price of, uh, yeah, I can't say other brands, but similar big earbud brands. And so with all that combined, it feels like I think I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy and easy to recommend. I had a great experience with them. I've been using the same pair for over six, seven months. They work as great as when I first got them. I use them all the time, love them. So shout out to Raycon for continuing to support the content. If you'd like to support the content and check these out, if you need it in the market for earbuds, go to buyraycon.com slash HROC for 15% off your first order. And uh, thank you again, Raycon, for supporting my content. Check it out. I actually could not apply to some of the schools I wanted to go to because of the application fees. I think we can all relate to that story. <laughs> I'm the first person in my entire family ever <laughs> that's so funny listen i i'm not doubting that uh robert here might have had a a not incredibly privileged upbringing it sounds like his father was an immigrant but it's just funny for a table of five millionaires and billionaires to <laughs> talk about how relatable it is for this guy to get a scholarship because he's got a single income mother <laughs> it's just <laughs> This is a very funny, uh, we're gonna go to college. <laughs> to Damon, so Damon, ah. your question is, there are about a hundred million dollars that goes unclaimed in outside scholarships. Okay, wow. Christopher, I how do that. I make Scully is 99 cents in the app store. We already sold 92,000 apps. What? How many? 92,000 paid apps, less than a year. It feel, I mean, I guess you sell it every year, right? Because there's new kids that go to college. So there's always a new influx of people buying. Generally, you want some kind of recurring revenue. If only you could gamify it, you know? Toss some kind of microtransaction. <laughs> I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I haven't heard a whole lot, but I'm gonna make you an offer right now. Oh! <laughs> my offer right now is the 40K for 15%. The it's such a so low valuation yes. that they, it's a no I would risk. I'd love to hear other offers, Lori. I'm offering you exactly what you asked for. Yes, I love I don't, to I'm not even gonna ask you how do we monetize this, but I want you to say yes. <laughs> Damn, she's pushing! I want to be part of this. Oh, everybody wants in now. It's really a personal matter. So I'll offer you the same thing. Christopher, look uh, at me. Uh, I uh, don't uh, care about how we're going to monetize it. Whoo! But I'd like you to do it right now. She's really turning on the, pretty the shark. Is there a backhand engine? He already answered that question. He told you he does it manual. But you could hire somebody, you could use Amazon Turk, or you could eventually build an engine. He already answered that question, Robert. Do you want a he charity already, donation? Or do you want to no, build a business? Which is ridiculous. it? I mean, I'm, my goal is I want someone to I'm willing to do it. With Damon. Damon, okay. if you're willing to do it I'm with me. I absolutely will do I it think. with you. I think. Oh. Right? Okay, Lori and I are going to go in 50 50 partners. <laughs> That's 20,000 from her, 20,000 from me. They've gotten it down to 20 grand. <laughs> Which is like nothing. I mean, for, for them, that's they, they can finally be in. It's fine to take it. They seem aligned on his vision. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take your deal. Done. Good. Done. Thanks. All right. Why are they so miffed about it? Damon's first deal. Profit. Profit. I think that's the first thing we've watched Damon take. Damon's first deal. Damon's first deal. Woo! It's a duo 20k deal with Lori, but he did it, and it was, as far as I can tell, successful. You know, when I had nothing. 
<laughs> and uh, couldn't rub two pennies together. You know what I really hated? I hated when people wanted to give me a break. He wasn't you... allowed to talk because you had to force 40000 down his throat <laughs> like a goose for pet Oh, my God. No problem, guys. I thought at the point that I received enough information to feel like I want to be part of the ride. If he would have just shit. said this is an idea, right. I would. Shark Tank Civil War. Oh, my God. There, you, Mark is seething. Robert's angry. Kevin's making insane uh, similes. You guys you know what, just really? don't like like when you get scooped. Yeah, guy, that was so this guy, excuse me, I'm talking. Oh. I act uh, what I want to do is ask him questions. This is all sour grapes. He started talking grapes. about an algorithm. What do you it's know about all algorithms? It's sour grapes. <laughs> it's not sour grapes. You know what? You're really pissing me off right now. I'm going to say something rude to you. No, and no, I don't no. want to say something because rude you're to you. Not a rude so I'm guy. just going to go. Okay? Because I, there's no need you to do, do something that, like that. You should do that, but that's actually not you. are smarter than You're not the guy to walk away and walk off. Oh my God. We're not the guy. You want to help all these kids? Instead of I feel really good about what I did. We feel great. Everyone's leaving. <laughs> Just sit there in silence. <laughs> this year, we earned a spot in Inc. Magazine's coolest college startups. <laughs> these guys the scream cool, really bro. Happy. When I think, when I think cool, bro. When I think wicked, this fucking squad, dude. These are the boys. These boys are tearing it up. A night out with these boys, you don't know what's gonna happen, dude. We're seeking seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in exchange for ten percent of our company. What? Ten point five million dollar valuation? That automatically better have sales. opens and closes to intelligently redirect airflow throughout a home. Venting! From the is it just an airflow? Think about it as a complement to an existing thermostat. Uh-huh. And then in May, bucks, we closed huh? a seed round of $1.5 million. There you go. We pre-sold 35,000 units to Lowe's. Now you're talking dirty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, me, When I look at this, I say this is a feature, not a product. You're a feature of the automated home. He's got a good point. I mean, I, this makes sense if they got acquired by Nest and it was part of an overall package. I think that's actually a very wise piece of feedback from Mark. This, you know, I can see this being part of a, you know, you sell it to a business, they get full smart automation for the whole office. So they replace all the vents, they replace the thermostats, they do the whole thing, they charge a huge fee, the business pays it. But just the vents, that gets really good feedback from Mark, actually. My issue is strictly financial with you guys. Because I put up 750, I get 10%, which is marginal, which bothers me as a shark, I must tell you. Because I like deals. But well, we learned it. Royalties! Oh, <laughs> Wait for it. I'm thinking what makes sense is 750 for 25%. He goes for equity. It's a little rich. So that's it's a bad. down round. Uh, they pretty much can't take that so uh if you raise money at a certain valuation and then follow that up by raising money at a lower valuation it's called a down route and it's it's pretty much a death knell to a lot of companies it's very bad to do for them to do it here would be very bad and their current investors would be very mad and it generally signifies that the company's on a bad trajectory so it's not a good thing it's only done when you're desperate for cash which i don't think these guys are currently i'm looking at the commercial application i'm looking at trying to go and approach hotels all right so we've been in discussions with a very large so it's a worse chain. offer place these into every single one of their rooms all well, it's the I, same I equity but with extra conditions extra strings you have three thousand or yep. two thousand rooms and you can cut them yep. off you know what? <laughs> what notice you writing? Fuck Robert. <laughs> okay, I'll solve your problem for you. Let's go debt. I'll give you seven hundred fifty thousand dollars at eight and a half percent. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want I wasted 10 my time pausing. <laughs> but it solves your down round problem, and you get a shark. Right, but I want twenty. 5%. Down round, man. No. Oh, I, 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 I can part it a different way. They're not going to do it down round. Are you partners with them already? I think the loan offer is interesting. I get why you don't want to do it down Mr. round. Mr. Down I round, they call him. 750000 for 13%. Oh. That's my offer. Um, I'll, I'm willing to go down more to uh, 750 for 20%. Bro, it's just a worse Doesn't offer, Damon. Sell it. It's just, ah! Why are you even talking? Robert just made a better offer, 750 for 13. You can't follow that up by saying, okay, I'll do 750 for 20 and strings attached, and I'm gonna talk shit about your business. We're looking for, at this stage of our company, a real partner who's gonna jump all in, take okay. this wild ride. You're talking with about us. me. I think you're talking so, about so me. So we'd, lo we'd love to accept your offer, Robert. What is that? Uh, and whatever, Robert. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't go with Damon. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. Okay, so that deal did close. They increased with sales and then merged with EcoVent. Uh, they're still in business. Anyone open is unknown. It's not a flop. They have bad reviews for the app, but they're emerged someone else now, so it might be a different thing. We're Designer the totes. Of Tuluma totes. Each one is made of traditional fabric <laughs> from that country. So when you carry Tuluma, you carry a country. <laughs> so we started the business from our college apartment. Okay. Graduation around the corner. This is extreme. And Tuluma's momentum this is really extreme building. white person. I'm powering up right now. Project. Oh, my whiteness is absorbing this energy right now. I'm getting whiter.
and more strong. There's you know what? These are all made in different companies. This supply chain would be crazy. So this one funded a micro loan for an artist in Indonesia uh, to buy more. Okay, so they're all made in Indonesia or China, and then they fund a micro loan. We don't know how big or small that is in a different country, but they're all from the same factory. <laughs> what do you sell it for? Sixty-five dollars. I would pay more for this bag. So our target market is college students and young adults. I think they should charge more. Actually, the thing is, when I first saw this bag, I thought this could either be a total flop or it. Got Got, it became a hit on Instagram or something, and it's worth <laughs> a couple million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if this just hits the right trend, this is actually a fantastic success, whether or not I think it's kind of cringe. You're going to figure it out. I just think it's a little early. I'm out. Fair. Yeah. You're going to try it. You're going to fail. You're going to fall down. And you're going to do what? Pick, pick right back up. I mean, that's what we've been doing for 10 months. <laughs> Guys, what I say, uh, you should be proud. <laughs> They're being very nice to them. Be As a business, I, I think it's an interesting sorry, idea. I think if you marketed it right, this thing could sell like gangbusters. Too bad the bags are ugly. Do you think that whether or not it looks ugly has anything to do with it? <laughs> Most high fashion is ugly, dude. If this is a statement, like if you're if you spend a lot of money on this, but it's like it says something about you. If it says that I have, a, I have a Tuluma bag, so I support the environment, I support developing countries, la da la da la, people will pay an extra premium for that. Kevin? Royalties, please. I had a little connection. Royalties, with this please. One. You're way too embryonic uh, for me. I'm out. Oof, they all got the same all feedback. Right, yeah. Can I still buy one? Can I get the China tote? Ten thing. left. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can buy them. And this was a while ago, so they did years in business. And it's $95 now. I knew it. Oh, I knew it, dude. I knew they'd have to raise prices. God damn it. I would have invested. I swear to God, do you, you market this right. I swear this could make this could make schmudge money.